dudes and chicks and neither of those rules don't apply to you. Welcome to Frank Frost Time. My name is Katie. Today I'm going to be popping this palette's cherry. This is the Nomad Cosmetics Paradise. Pornisha Paradiso. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that correctly, but the color story looks like this. It's fucking fantastic. There's no plastic. It's all made of recycled. I'm fairly certain it's made of recycled and recyclable materials. Uh, can we just do this from now on? No plastic. So basically, I looked at this and I liked it. And I thought, I'm going to get that. And then I thought, well, there's no deepening shades in there that can match that upper row. So, and I looked at these two colors and they didn't look that deep. Upon opening it, they do look deeper. However, I want to get to the point. The point is, I decided I wasn't going to get this, and then I found out what the cause, the charitable um, organizations that they're donating to, and I really fucking care about the ocean. I really care about sea turtles. I really care about coral. I really care about coral. That's, like, a big deal for me. And also, like... I don't know. I just felt like that was really something that spoke to me, and so I bought it so that I could talk a little bit about it. Now, I just need to tell you guys, I had to go somewhere before I film my intro, so the look that I created, the finished look is on the outro, exactly how it was when I finished it, and this is like an hour later, and I'm just gonna tell you that um, what I thought it looked like at the end of the video did not fucking do it any justice. This looks super pretty, and honestly, I was looking in my rear view mirror, which is the worst place to look at your makeup. If you're ever like sitting in your car and you look up at the rear view mirror and you're like, oh my God, I look like shit. The rear view mirror is a fucking liar. There's something about the lighting that looks like super shadowy and it's just shit. Well, I just looked at my rear view mirror and fucking looked beautiful. So um, if you guys are interested in hearing like some of the things that I had to say about sea turtles or if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look, or if you're interested in hearing my final thoughts on the palette. Or if you just like to watch, then hang out. Okay, I'm going to start with the Made by Mitchell ME3, <clears throat> and I'm going to go into the color Seashell. And sorry, I look kind of shitty. I'm actually in a little bit of a hurry, but I wanted to film with this. And also, I'm going to actually do this a little bit messed up. So, like, I'm going to film this video, do my outro, maybe, leave, and then come back and do my intro and all the other parts. So... Be forewarned if everything, if there's like any discrepancies in the way that things look, that's why. So I'm just taking this color and I'm actually like using this as a transition shade. And uh, yeah, we're bringing back the transition, huh? <laughs> because I quite frankly, these are not the colors that I really want to use. But I thought that these were, I thought that this color was purple, but it's, it's like a lilac. It's kind of, and it looks a lot more purple on my skin than, um, than it does in the pan. But I really want to fuck with the blues and greens, but I feel like that's kind of already been done. So I'm going to do something that's kind of out, not really my style or that not really what I was drawn to do, but also... Just something different. It's still my style though. It's still gonna be like me, what I would do. So now I'm just gonna go into, I'm gonna actually just do this one more time because I really wanna get this like really packed on here because I don't wanna fuck with this anymore. Once I put this other color on here, I don't really wanna be in this at all. So I'm gonna use my Wayne Goss number 19 and I'm gonna go into the color, or should I use something smaller? Yeah, I am going to use something smaller. I'm going to use my Voldemort VM506. And I'm going to go into Huahin. Huahini. Uh, fuck. Let me Google that. Huahine. 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 There it is. I'm going to go into the color 
Hua Ine, Hua Hine, Hua Hine, <laughs> down with my Voldemort M506. And I'm going to kind of just pack this. Ooh, there's a lot of kick up on this color. Strangely, I have a dress that actually matches this really well. So I'm basically, all I'm doing is deepening up the crease as much as I can. So essentially, I'm just going to tell, I'll just tell you guys, I don't want to talk too much um, because I, I have to go, but... Essentially, I bought this palette. I like the color story. It's nice. Um, however, there isn't a lot of dimension in this. And I feel like there's been a lot of palettes that have come out recently for this season that are nice color stories for the season, but they're not very dimensional. And so that's fine. I was really attracted to the color story and I was going to buy it. And then I kind of saw that there really wasn't that much dimension in it. And so then I was kind of on the fence about it. Not because the color story isn't beautiful, but just because there's no dark shades for me. And also, again, like when we come into this warm tone side, there's nothing for me to deepen up these oranges. You know what I mean? I've told you guys before that kind of fucks me up. Now, I would never say a single negative thing about Nomad. Not ever. Not ever a single si single thing. The reason, the actual reason why I push, pulled, like, pull, pulled the trigger on this purchase is because of the cause. The cause that they're donating the money for this too. And so I'm just going to go into the color seashell and I'm going to start on the inside and I'm just going to barely... Because I don't want to lose it. I don't want to keep sitting here blending and blending. I really care about trash and what's happening animals going being endangered i kind of googled some shit and basically i think there's like eight eight types of sea turtles sea turtles are they endangered is what i googled if you guys want to search it um and i came on worldwide world wildlife um, dot org was basically the first thing. Essentially, there's seven different species of sea or marine turtles. Um, this particular organization works with five of them. We don't need to know that. So I'm going to go with sea turtles because there's like, there's seven types. Two of them are critically endangered. Anyway, I kind of did a bunch of research this morning and I decided to film this video before I actually wrote some shit down, which I'm actually a little bit disappointed about now that I'm like actually mid fucking midstream. The two causes that they are supporting is for to adopt corals and then the other one is for them to they help they have a sea turtle um, hospital and basically I am totally down for that and also like um, it really matters to me like tr garbage and like animals. I to tell you the truth, like lately, I've been getting really like connected to that kind of that part of me in such a way that like today, as I was thinking about creating this video, I was thinking about how I think that our planet that that our planet is a lot more like the like the movie Avatar than we even know. And I feel like we are a lot more like the planet Pandora and we're a lot more like Avatar or like the people that are from that planet than we know. Like we are like so much more connected to this planet on a, like an energetic level, like a real tangible level. And I feel like it's really important that we start like being a part of that. You know what I mean? And so like when I saw the cause now, okay, would I have bought the palette if it was ugly just because of the cause? Probably not, but the palette was decent. It, and and I really believe in the cause and I really wanted to take an opportunity to talk about how much that means to me that we like and also like that I believe there's so much hope that like, you know, we're kind of like in this situation where I feel like we've all like lost hope and we feel like it's over and there's like nothing we can do or like we feel like, you know, even even the things that we do are like not making a difference. But I believe that you know, how everybody's like, oh, millennials, millennials. Like, I believe that generation has all the tools and, like, access to all... Like, kids are getting raised in a completely different way than we were getting raised. Like, kids are getting raised to, like, respect people and, like, pay attention to their feelings and, like, 
pay attention to this planet and like care about social causes. And um, I'm not saying that they haven't always, but I just believe that this right now, like there people have the capacity to do something that is going to blow our minds. That's all. I'm not saying any more or less. They were more or less capable, but look at what they have access to. Like, look at what people have access to now. The resources and the knowledge and the money. I mean, I feel like money right now is like, I don't know, like people are taking a totally different stance on money. I like that, that the lower part is bluer than the rest. And um, yeah, so I just think that... Um, this generation is going to do something about it. And I believe that there's a lot of hope. And I believe that like, we should all like have these conversations about like what we know about recycling and like what we know that isn't actually like, you know, there's like these myths and shit like that. And so I just wanted to say that the reason why I, the reason why I pulled the trigger on this purchase was because I like the cause and I wanted to talk about it. And I don't really even know what the fuck I'm talking about, but it doesn't matter. Like it just matters that we are talking about it and that like when we care about shit like this that we actually say something so I'm gonna keep going because I have to I have to, I have to trudge on I was gonna do something else but I just changed my mind completely I just completely changed my mind because honestly don't we really just want to see that color ocean and I'm gonna use this with the gluey side and I'm just gonna kind of give this a little Patty pat pat. I don't like it. I never like that when I do that. It always sucks. I hate it. Cute. You know what else I was thinking about today was, man, the Tokyo Harajuku palette was like really something else. Like it didn't have any dimension. But man, those shimmers were fucking so good okay I'm gonna go in with my Voldemort M506 and I'm gonna go into Hua Hine Hua Hine and back into the pink or a seashell. It's not pink. It's like a lavender lilac -y color. Okay, and now I'm going to use the Voldemorphe pencil brush from the Ice Lake collection, and I'm going to go into Bora Bora, and I'm going to use that as my inner corner highlight, maybe. Yeah. I'm going to spray it with my MAC Fix Plus. Yeah. Yeah, that's the magical. That's the magic. That's the golden ticket right there. It's like a pinky, ghostly, you know, isn't there like a thing where doesn't coral reef like glow at night? Isn't that like a thing? Cause I feel like that's what this is doing. It's like glowing like coral reef. Is that a thing in Bora Bora? Like what the fuck would I know? <laughs> Yeah, that looks fucking pretty. You know, I know that there's a lot of brands who are kind of doing stuff like this. So that's the final look. Is there any? Mm. I'm going to actually use the color Whale right here. And I'm just going to see what happens if I put that over the... Ooh, yeah. That's like jellyfish glow. Okay, that's looking a little bit more like me. Mm, okay, okay, I like that a little bit better. It was looking a little bit unfinished there, wasn't it? Here's the thing about Nomad, is they always have excellent quality. It's, it's a brand that you can trust. It's a brand that I knew I would be able to film this video before I fucking had to go somewhere and that I wasn't going to have to sit here and play Johnny fuck around for two hours trying to blend out some shit that didn't work. That never happens with Nomad. They are always, they are a fucking reliable brand that I have never been disappointed by a Nomad 
shadow. They are a brand with integrity. Their product is great. Their themes are amazing. They're not fucking played out. Like, nobody's doing what they're doing. And they came out with a good palette with a great color story that was supporting a cause that I totally was in love with. So... I know that there's other brands that are doing somewhat similar things to that, but I mean, they're like, are they coming out with the quality? Are they coming out with the color stories? Are they coming up with the themes? I, I don't know. I've seen a couple brands who were doing kind of the same thing and they weren't really my cup of tea. The color stories weren't really my cup of tea. I don't know. So anyway, I was really grateful to get a chance to like support something like this, even though it served me, even though I got a palette that I love, I got a product that I am like totally happy with. I got some colors that are amazing. I got a good quality palette of shadows. Also, like I, I am really grateful that I got to like stand up for this cause. So um, I'm sorry that this look is like pretty basic, but I actually think it's really beautiful and also... I know not everybody watching my channel has time to fucking do like two hour fucking looks every day. So I feel like this is something that's doable. And also it was a good way to add dimension into some of these lighter colors that aren't the blues and greens. Like the blues and greens are going to be easy, right? But it's like the pinks and the oranges. Like how are we going to, how are we going to work with that? So I'm going to do another video on this because I feel like I really didn't do this any justice, but I wanted to get this filmed and get this up as quick as possible. So anyways, um, I'm gonna go finish my face and I'll be back when I'm done. So this is the manifesto, the PS de resistance. I use my glam light eyelashes. I don't know what style they are. <laughs> I'm such a fuck up. And I use my notoriously morbid uh, mystic metallic matte in real hot girl shift. And then over the top of it, I put sugar pill, my sugar pill bloom, just because I wanted to blue it up a little bit. And this is a little bit more goldy green on the under. So um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of give it a little bit more of a purple blue vibe, but you can really see it on the outside edges of my lips. And then I used Sunrise Blue and my NYX Light On Glide On All Day Hard On liner. And I used the Satin, the Satin Blush in Mellow by Unearthly Cosmetics. And then I used Eth Ethereal highlighter. It kind of has the same effect as the Black Moon Cosmetics Moonlighters. It's faint and glowy like that, and but I think it has a little bit more of a pink shift to it. So yeah, I think it looks amazing. I think the whole thing fucking looks perfect. I mean, the only thing that leaves a little to be desired is my fucking hair, obvi. But um, yeah, so I think it's going to be fine. It's going to be totally fine. Everything's going to be okay. Yeah, so that's everything. I love this palette. I love the cause. Here's the bottom line. The bottom line is I love the palette. If you're on the fence about the palette because you're like, oh, well, whatever. If you're looking at the palette and you're like, yeah, that's a great palette, but I don't think I'm going to get it. You should get it just because I'm not trying to fucking tell people to spend money on things, but I will tell you that like we vote with our dollars and like we buy palettes all the time. A lot of us buy palettes all the fucking time. We might as well buy a palette that like contributes to a good cause. And so I don't know that, you know, the other, you know, I know, I think that Nomad contributes to causes a lot. This one really just spoke to me in a way that was like... I just pushed submit payment. So um, thank you, Nomad, for doing this. This packaging has no plastic. It's all like cardboard. It didn't have any plastic on the mirror. And it makes me wonder why we're not doing that. I'm sure it's more expensive, but why aren't all palettes doing that? Why isn't everybody not sending their palettes with no plastic? Like it, it looks great it's totally fine. It was like the mirror was fine. Everything was fine. Why aren't we doing that with all the palettes? So anyways, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell because you can't wait to see what happens next. Hit the like button if you like this look or if you just like my sparkling personality and my voice charm and hang out with me in the comments because I fucking love it. If you got like halfway through my video and you were like, oh my god, this girl's so pretty till she opens her big fucking mouth, then go check me out on Instagram. I don't talk as much on Instagram. And if you guys were like, don't sugarcoat it, Katie, why don't you tell us how you really feel? Then go check out my Patreon because I don't hold anything back on my Patreon. Thank you guys so much for watching. You could have been anywhere, but you were here wasting your time with me and I totally appreciate you. Later.